of the time, I do crafts and decorations that involve paint. About the only time I use paper is if I'm going to paint on it. But today, I decided to do a little crafting with paper because the gracious people over at American Crafts sent me some beautiful papers and embellishments. And it was all in red, white, and blue, so I wanted to try something different. I started off making just a simple bunting. Um, you know when you, they have the beautiful swags of the red, white, and blue draped across banisters? That was kind of the look I was going for, but I wanted it on a smaller scale. So all I did is I found some containers, soup container, and a little like pudding or jello container, so that I could have different circles. The big one, medium, and then the small. And then I just took their cardstock in red, white, and blue, and it's plain. They have some beautiful glitter, but we'll get to that. And just traced it and cut it out with regular scissors. So I wound up with three different sized circles. Okay, real simple. Then all I did was, as you can tell, folded each one in half, and I, um, you know, changed it up a bit from the blue on one um, top and then the red on the other just for fun. And so that was really simple. And then just a simple uh, silver cording, again, made by American Crafts. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful ribbon. And I just hung it. But then I thought, well, it needs something a little bit more. So they also have wonderful embellishments. And by embellishments, I mean they have beautiful glittered letters, and so I thought I could do USA or um, I Love USA, something like that. But then I found these fun things, too, They're called pebbles, and they have adhesive right on the back. So I thought, well, that'll be fun, too. But since I love to paint or anything that closely resembles paint, I thought I would do something else. So I did glue the circles together after I folded each one and then I put them on top of each other. Let me show you how I did it. I keep knocking everything, sorry. Okay, so here's my red one. Fold it in half. Great project for kids, okay? Um, if they need help with scissor skills, you know, mom and dad can do that and then let the kids practice their folding. So there's the red one and then the white. And no, I don't have a circle cutter. I use regular old scissors and, you know, it's not perfect, but it's festive and that's what I want. And then the blue. And so then I just put a little dot of glue in the middle of each one. Okay, so it's just, just like that and they just sit right on top of each other. So that's fine, and they have, like I said, the beautiful glitter paper that I'll show you in a minute, which would be really pretty, but I thought it'd be fun to add the embellishments, and then they also have this wonderful glitter glue called Zazz, and this stuff is like glitter paint, except it's glue. So it has the same, and it comes in a fine point. So all I'm going to do, I'll start with the red on this one. Okay, you can do whatever design you want, but um, you can do, I, I was just going to keep it simple and just kind of outline it, just to give it a little, not trying to be, to be perfect or anything, just giving it a little sparkle. After all, this is for the 4th of July, our nation's birthday, and we want to celebrate. So, a little bit of a little bit of oak that helps, I think. And then they have this um, real pretty. It's like a it's like a white glitter. So obviously you could make, mix it up however you wanted, but I'm just um, showing you different ideas here, hoping not to make a, a total mess out of everything. Same thing, real quick. It's blue. It's like puffy paint. Okay, if you've ever used puffy paint where you just squirt it out. Same type of thing. Here, let me turn it upside down. That's probably a better idea. And I'm showing you just on this one so I can get it up close. Um, you can tell that on these, they do kind of 
um, I don't have what's called a score. For you guys that are really good with paper crafts, you have all the tools, the, the bone thing and all that. I don't have anything. I got scissors, okay? I couldn't even find my ruler because I'm in the middle of moving. So um, I just used any straight edge I could find and made the best of it. And that's for another project I'm going to show you in a minute. And then let's just do something with the blue because look at this pretty blue glitter glue. Is that gorgeous? It really is. It'd be really pretty on the um, white paper, I think. But I'm just going to just drop a little bit right on here. Okay. So that gives it a little bit of pizzazz. But, so definitely the kids would have fun with this. Okay. So that gives it a little bit of something there. But, watch what happens if you use the pebbles. Okay, so I've got these stars here, which I thought were really cool. And they come with self-adhesive dots, which, hello, how great is that? So all you need to do, did I lose one? I did. It's windy here and I've got the windows open, so I apologize. So it could just stick right on there. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. A silver one, Put that up here, and then some other. Look at these. Are these too cute? Stars and stripes, Fourth of July, and they just work so perfectly to embellish your little bunting. And the bunting, once you get it done, I call it a bunting. I'm not exactly sure if it's a bunting or what it is, but that's what I call it. You could do it on a wall, you could do it on a fence, you could do it over a fireplace, um, on a mantle, anything, you know, anywhere you would like to do it, it would be great. So easy. couple minutes, you're done. Just to add some festive decoration for 4th of July or birthdays, holidays, parties, anything like that. So you got that going on. Isn't that fun? Okay. Now, I told you about their great glitter paper. Hang on a minute. I want to get a real pretty piece to show you that I haven't already cut up. <laughs> Here we go. Look at this. Is this gorgeous glitter paper? Now, I was going to do the bunting with the glitter paper, which, because who doesn't love glitter, right? But I decided to try something a little different today. And that is, I made. A dimensional star. Okay, it's out of cardstock. It was flat, just like this one. Okay, see, paper flat. It's cardstock with a glitter coating. Okay, but you can make a dimensional star. Now, how fun would that be? You can hang them from the ceiling, tape them on the walls. Oh my goodness, anything just on your. Um, Dessert table for, you know, or a barbecue. Perfect, right? Or well, at least I think they are. So, any star outline is going to work for you to trace, and that's the first thing you do. I grabbed a dimensional star because I figured I'd spray paint it for Christmas, but it turned out great. I just traced, um, traced onto the cardstock, okay, just like that. Now, I told you I couldn't find my ruler, right? I couldn't. I'm packing. I'm halfway packed, halfway unpacked. So I just grabbed a piece of cardboard and used a straight edge. And here's what you do. You go from one point out to the inner point and you draw a line. Actually, I have to flip it over. And yes, these are stars from the dollar store. Don't tell anybody, but that's where they're from. And I haven't used them, so they're still in their package. But let me show you. I'm going to show you with the pencil. Just oh, Actually, let me show you with a marker so that you get the idea. Except I don't have one here. Show you with the pencil. Okay, so you go from one point all the way to the inner point, and you do that on every single point. Okay, now for you paper crafters, you know where I'm going with this, I bet. You would actually use your score. I don't have a score, I have a utility knife, a craft knife. Okay, and that's all I need to get a little, um, just a little break in the cardstock, and that's all I need. And so, 
I'm just going to send it. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to line it up, outer point, inner point, and just give it a little, don't go all the way through, but just enough because what you want to be able to do is give it a little bend right on the line. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to go all the way around with it. Each point to each inner point. Missed. I missed. I missed. Sorry. It's not easy doing it upright on the east. I make excuses for my craft fail, so bear with me. Because it's just really fun to see this thing become dimensional. At least it is to me. So I want I wanted you to see it in the demo. Because this just opens up oodles of possibilities when you see all that beautiful card stock that American Crafts has. Oh my goodness. You can make stars. You know, think beyond scrapbooking. I don't scrapbook at all. In fact, I haven't printed any photos out in I don't know how long. I do decorations, okay, for parties and seasons and 4th of July. So, I never thought about using paper crafts. I just never did. I didn't realize there was such a wealth of, um, of, of treasures to choose from. But there is. So, I've just been going crazy making all kinds of stuff in my new house, which I'll share with you as, as I get moved in. So now what I'm going to do is fold right along each line. Fold, fold, you just rotate along, fold each one. That's the one that I messed up, so let me get that one right. Fold. And one more. Nope, two more. Five points, right? Five pointed star. How fun would this be for Christmas, huh? Very nice. You can make your own dimensional stars. You could stick them in the tree all over the place. And all you need is some cardstock. How cool is that? Okay, so I did all my little folds. And now you just kind of poke it out in the center. And it is dimensional. Clever, huh? I know. There's probably a better way to do it. <laughs> and if there is, let me know. But this worked for me. So now I have some stars and a little bunting. And I'm ready for 4th of July. How about you? I hope you join me next time and I'll either have a paper craft for you or most likely a paint and paper craft. But I really want to thank American Crafts for generously letting me um, use some of their supplies. Absolutely beautiful. Happy 4th of July everyone.